from this guy in position to me. It makes betting here kind of difficult, but I think I got to do it. But this guy likes to make a lot of plays at me, and that's fine. Like, I like it too. Oh, this guy never folds, but this is a good flop. So a side does have showdown value on this board, I think. So if we hit a five, here we'll bluff that ace, and uh, I think we can see that here. Um, what the? This guy's totally unknown. Maybe he had a flush draw, and if so, and didn't hit anything, I actually have the best hand here. So he had tens. And that's okay. Jacks. Okay. That's good. He played that pretty well. Seven. I've got a nuke here in position to me, but I'm still gonna raise the cutoff. And again, we got this guy who just never folds, so I, I don't even think I should see bet here. But the board is pretty dry, and I can't, I can't really put him on the ace. But we'll see. But he just never folds, so this is almost like a mistake. Kind of a weird spot. I don't really know when to see about this guy, except obviously when you have a hand, but... Um, yeah, same kind of deal here. Not a, not a board you really want to be see betting, I don't think. It's this guy's turn aggression. Okay, we'll pull. Um... This guy definitely doesn't have to have an ace. He's calling raises all the time with uh, worse than that. And uh, obviously now we're going for value. That too kind of sucks. Um, but I still think we need to bet out and get value on aces here. If he has a flush, then he'll just kind of show on us here. And then we can fold. I think if he has an ace, he's going to call. Because we know this guy is a noob. Um, here... I don't know this guy's range yet, so I'm just going to defend the small blind here. Oops! Shit. Shouldn't have allowed that to happen. Um, and I think I got to... Um, yeah, I can lead out here. These guys are folders. Here against the unknown who limps under the gun. Uh, actually, gonna just fold away this button. Um, and I'm not gonna play this out of position. Heads up. This guy should call here. And bloop, call. No, bloop, call. Um, and good board to see that here, I think. Because we probably have the best hand. These guys are calling with like overs and stuff. Okay. Um, this guy is three betting a lot. So I'm not really too scared that he's got a better hand. Not gonna get 
away from this, I don't think. Good. So this guy, I know I don't have a big sample on him, but you can kind of see like he's three bet three times in 17 hands. And he's all every single time has been a uh, min three bet from what I remember. So it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but he just has no idea. Just clueless. He's probably just hitting the raise button and like doesn't even know what's going on. So, but it sucks that he left. It's kind of close. I'm gonna fold. Oh man, again. Ugh. Why do you limp in on the button? What am I supposed to do? No, I have to raise. I must raise. Especially because this guy's kind of a folder, so I can probably just own him on the flop. Pretty good board. So I feel a lot more confident in C betting here against this guy on this board. Because pretty much the only cards I can figure him to have there is like maybe Jack 9 that would beat us. Maybe. Alright, so here we'll try to get some value out of this guy who calls a lot. Even with our middle pair, it's still for uh, kind of thin here. So same. Hmm. I don't know actually. Actually, yeah. And uh, this guy's kind of a tight raiser. But I'll call him for sure. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I don't remember if this was the same dude, but. He just get, kind of gets aggressive on the river here. So, I think I want to call him. Yes, I do. So, yeah, we know that guy is bluffy on the river. When when your aggression frequency is that high on the river, like, theoretically, I, it should always be about even. Um, I think mine is a pretty good example. So, yeah, like, mine's going down a little bit, but not too much on the man. I actually feel like I'm no good here, maybe. I don't know this guy, and I have a small ace. <sighs> I think I'll just call. If he bets again big on the river, I might have to fold. He could have something like ace king. From what I've seen, he's a tight raiser. Maybe ace queen or ace jack. Can't really have like ace nine and keep betting out like that. Yeah, I don't think there's any way we're any good here. And to call here, we've got to be right one and three times, and I'm like eighty percent sure that we're just fucking no good here. Can I don't really know him. Actually, you know what? I mean, I'm gonna call him. Yeah, fuck you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so what changed my mind right away is that I saw this mad aggression and uh, then I had a luck and sure enough this guy's just crazy aggressive so that's definitely a flag that um, he's betting out with a lot here so I got kings on two tables and I got a caller so let's see how much value we can get here maybe he's got a nine and he's just gonna call us down with it didn't get any call on our kings up here. Unfortunately.